Hello everybody, my name's Otis Williams. I work with Catholic Care. I'm pretty excited to be here. I want to read a dream time story to you guys. It's called When the Snake Bites the Sun. It's an Aboriginal story told by David Modaringi, compiled by Pam and Loss. Long, long ago, in the east behind the world, lived two sons. A big fat mother son and a little daughter son. So there's your mother son, then there's your daughter. They lived behind, they lived in hollow logs. They came out to give the world light, but they only shone so fiercely and for so long that everything began to burn up. The ground became scorched and the rivers dried up. So there you have your scorched earth because the sun's only come out for so long and burned so fiercely. The animals, was, animals began to die. So we've got a, a dinner one, the emu, uh, the, the parrot, and the koala and the turtle, all dying off first. The mother son by this time had gotten so fat that she could no longer squeeze out of her log. So she began to send her daughter out alone. So with the daughter being sent out all alone, the little son rolled across the sea to Murrungi, Bitty Bitty, an island where two men lived. So there's the, the little son with the log um, and the two men on the island. One was a good man who always looked after the two sons. The other was a bad man. So there's the son and there's the two men. Two traditional men. The bad man chased the little son away and poked her with his spear. So there's the bad man spearing the son to scare her away. She was afraid he would kill her and leave the world in darkness. So she took off into space to escape him, getting hotter and hotter as she would climb. So she's going up in the sky, into the in the space to get away. But up in the sky, lived uh, high above the earth, lived the snake. Suddenly, he rushed at her. So there's a the snake, not happy, I don't think, but rushing at the at the sun. And bit her. So the sun began to grow cry after being bitten. Now she could no longer go higher and getting weaker and cooler, she rolled away down towards the edge of the earth. So there's the edge of the earth that the, the sun's trying to get away from the snake. There she became snagged in the fork of a tree and the sky turned red with blood from her wounds. And that's why I reckon we have these magnificent sunsets, especially out here in Kondo, um, with the sun um, bleeding its blood to give us those beautiful sunsets that we've been getting lately. At last she flipped down into the mist below and, were, and, the, world, and the world became dark. She went back to her mother who looked after her till she was strong enough and to get up again. So, so going down in the sun, into the midst. Ever since that time, the little sun has made her journey from the east to the west to give the world day and night. There must always be a day for light and heat. So there you go. Followed by darkness of night for the world to be cool and to rest so that it will never burn up again. So that's a great book. It's uh, called When the Snake Wastes the Sun. 
Uh, we want our children to see the daylight and the sun to go down on our land, the home of the dream time, and to live there till they're in their old age and really understand their culture. So thanks again. Thanks for bearing with me on this read, um, and I hope to bring another story to you soon. Thank you.